Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Podcast YouTube channel. I am your host, the Honorable Greg B, and today we are starting our journey. We're continuing our journey through 1994, but starting in our basketball version of that journey. Uh, if you have didn't hear or listen to my previous couple days, I've been going through 1994, so check out those previous videos. I've done basketball. No, I've done baseball and hockey the previous two days. The day before that, I did a kind of a state of the dress, kind of explaining what's going to happen with the channel going forward. Uh, and we're going through 1994, and we're into basketball. Now, if you haven't watched those videos for hockey and baseball, they're a little bit weird because both hockey and baseball are going through some turbulent times in 1994. Um, baseball obviously had their strike and didn't have a World Series. Hockey had a lockout and didn't start the season till late, but eventually did have a series. Now, basketball um, didn't have any you know sort of issues in terms of player stoppage or you know anything like that but the one weird thing about 1994 was 94 95 was this was the year that was this one of the years that Michael Jordan was retired and trying to play baseball now because he retired after 93 season or 92 93 so he was he was in the 93 products but because he didn't play 93 94 he's not in the 94 products now I know he did come back the tail end of the season and end up playing a war number 45 and you know the bulls didn't really do much they lost to the magic i believe in um in the playoffs and eventually came back the next year and then they had one of the best teams ever in the 96 bulls but there is no michael jordan to be found in this product so it's kind of weird too in that in that regard uh so what will we be looking for today in this product well this is jason kidd grant hill and eddie jones's rookie years a few other minor rookies but those are like the big rookies from this uh set and then Shaquille O'Neal cards were very popular then and then there's a few other hall of famers and stars throughout the product that um you know um might be worth something I don't know but then we also got some inserts uh we got uh, rising stars uh clear cuts dynasty and destiny and super team um so yes I I didn't it wasn't on purpose that this was also stadium club like the hockey and Spoiler alert, the football one for 1994 is also going to be uh, uh, Stadium Club. This sort of worked out that way. It just I don't know, for whatever reason, this product uh, was readily available from that year and not too expensive. So grab some of that, and there you go. Now, there's also a Reggie Miller autograph card in this set. I don't know if it was in the Series 1 or Series 2 packs. I'm not 100% sure, so there's a chance for that. I mean, the odds are not good, but um, there's a chance, potentially. Um, again, I couldn't find any information to find out when exactly, um, the, the you know, or which series that card would have come out of, if not both. So I'm going to assume it could come out of both. I don't really know. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and open this up. We'll do one stack today. Um, there's 24 cards in this, in this uh, box of Stadium Club. Um, and then we'll do next week, or no, in the coming weeks, we'll do the rest. So we'll do, um, six packs today and do the rest in the coming weeks. Uh, there we go. Now here's a look at the side of the box, if you're interested. The front, the other side, the others, the back, and then the bottom. Nothing really interest in there there's no odds or anything i think they're on the packs themselves we'll see that when we open this bad boy up and again uh this is a product i've never opened before so i i can't say i know too much about it i don't know if they'll look similar in design to the hockey ones that we did we started opening up yesterday um i would guess somewhat i don't know stadium club was kind of weird because like when it first came out in the early 90s it was very plain design which was kind of cool but it had like no borders it had like the kodak i remember the big deal kodak uh f photography and it had cool you know photos and stuff uh, kind of out of the ordinary photos they're a bit uh different and um you know they're very sleek and had the uv coating which now they all stick together but then kind of as the 90s went along they got very busy very busy with lots of crazy designs and stuff but um yeah, so here's the pack. Um, we do have the odds. Uh, so Super Teams, 1 in 24. And then we got uh, Dynasty and Destiny's 1 in 6. Clear Cut is 1 in 12. 
Uh, Rising Stars 124. Oh, and that was also first day issue. Got to be on the lookout for those because they literally just have a little like stamp that says first day issue, and there should be at least one in this box. So be on the eye of that. I might that might be one I have to find later after I open everything, but um, we'll see. Let's dive in. See what we can find. So it doesn't say anything about the Reggie Miller autograph. I don't know if that was a readily known thing or again it might have been series two. I don't really know, um, but um, hopefully these don't stick together too bad. Unfortunately, it seems like they are going to. Ow, oh, yeah, those are. It's going to be bad. It's unfortunate with the, um, you know, the late, mid to late 90s through the early 2000s. A lot of these cards end up together. We got Jeff Hornacek starting things off. Then we got, um, uh, who's that? Sam Bowie. Yeah, Sam Bowie. He was in the Lakers. He had an interesting career. <laughs> Obviously, he got picked over Michael Jordan. Um, well, Olajuwon was one, and then Bowie was two, and then Jordan three. But uh, Pat Ewing, he's obviously a big. He was a big star back in those days for the Knicks and a Hall of Famer to boot. Uh, number one draft pick overall, too. There's also shenanigans behind that draft, whether the Knicks cheated or David Sturd cheated or whatever to get the Knicks the pick. Uh, Marlon Maxley, uh, Randy Brown, some names I don't even remember. Um, Eric Murdoch, Tom Malone, uh, yep, a little bit of paper loss on this Danny Ainge, sorry Danny, uh, maybe, uh, back when he was with the Suns, Charles Sprewell, then we got Rodney Rogers, who I remember coming over to the Celtics, uh, towards the end of his career, uh, in the early 2000s, these cards are sticking together pretty badly, unfortunately, uh, yeah, that's that's not good. Got Danielle Marshall draft pick card, and then Chris Weber. Unfortunately, he's suffered some paper loss. And Terry Mills. All right, moving on to the next pack. Yeah, these, this is gonna be bad. Lots of bricking, but you get what you get. You know, that's what you know you can expect from these years. Part of the reason I stopped collecting too, I think, over these. Although it didn't happen right away, I feel like. Most of these, if you bought this in 1994, it wasn't going to brick together. It's, you know, 26 years later, I guess. Or 25 plus years later, you know, that's the problem. Xavier McDaniel. I mean, a lot of times it has to do with where it was stored, where, you know, and, and stuff too. The climate it was in. Uh, it's a checklist card. Uh, Terry Porter. Obviously, I just got this on eBay, so I don't even know where it would have been. <laughs> uh, Clarence Weatherspoon. We got... Tom Hammonds. What do we got here? Uh, Anthony Hardaway. He was obviously a big star back in then, and with Orlando, with uh, playing with Shaq, who we got right there. Shaquille O'Neal, college teammate with Mahub Abdul Raouf. Although I don't think that was his name when he played with LSU, and I'm blanking on what his name was before he switched switched it. Uh, Chris something. Chris, it's Chris something. I, I, I don't remember. Um, we got David Benoit, or Benoit, I don't know how he pronounced it. Uh, Eric Murdoch again. Lee Mabry. Then we got Tom Hamlins again. Antonio Davis. And Walt Williams. Alright, next pack. And if I miss the first day issue, let me know. Comment down below, and I, by the time I post this, I'll probably have found it, but, um, yeah, I, you gotta be on the lookout, though. It's very, very easy to miss. I missed it, uh, with the hockey ones. I uh, eventually went back and found it, though. Uh, Kenny Gads Gaddison, uh, there's my, yeah, uh, Mahab Abdul Raouf, which, Chris, Chris something. Chris something. It's going to bother me now. Does it say on here anywhere? No, probably not. Um, Greg Anthony, the Knicks. Then we got we got something special here, so I'm just going to skip over this because it's kind of... Ooh, De Dennis Scott clear-cut card. Okay, that's cool. Um, we got Matombo, Dikembe, Grant Long, George Lynch... Reggie Miller, is it the autograph card? And I doubt it. Uh, but, you know, he's obviously was a great player back in the day. Uh, Indiana. And then we got Terry Cummings. Doug West. 
if I can separate these. Uh, Dale Ellis. Then we got David Benoit. Benoit, I'm not sure. And Elmore Spencer for the Celtics. I don't know on the Cl Clippers. I'm sorry. Yeah. On the Clippers. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't remember Elmore Spencer in the Celtics, but that's... that. Yeah. Uh, moving on. Uh, next pack. See what we can find. Obviously, we got Tim Hardaway in the back here. Oh, I hate that sound. Hate that sound. Um, Tim Hardaway, Kenny Johnson, obviously two of the better point guards back in those days. We got John Barry, his brother Brent Barry, if you remember that. Uh, obviously, their dad John Barry. I mean, not John. Um, wow, blanking. What was their dad's name? Rick Barry. Yes. Stanley Roberts. Got uh, Dale, Dale, Dale Ellis again. Terry DeHair. We got a college uh, teammates card with uh, Stacey Ogman and Larry Johnson. Then we got a um, AC Green. Back when he was on the Suns. Scott Skiles and Kevin Willis, M Michigan State college teammates. Uh, Luke Longley. Then we got a checklist card. Uh, Clifford Robinson and then Christian Leitner. He's a big time prospect in, what was it, 92? Yeah, after obviously playing for Duke and hitting that ridiculous shot against Kentucky that we all have to see every year during the NCAA tour tournament, except obviously there was no NCAA tournament this year, which fortunately, but um, I'm sure he would have if there had been. Um, all right, moving on. We got Jeff Turner. These cards are sticking together again. It's uh, Charles Oakley. Chris Weber with paper loss again. Alonzo Mourning. Uh, Xavier McDaniel. Got some Carolina, Carolina Tar Heel team up. Team, college teammates, uh, Sam Perkins and James Worthy. So they played with Michael Jordan as well on that team. Um, Danny Ainge. Eldon Campbell. Got Terry Deher again. Deher, Deher, Deher. Marlon Maxley, Muggsy Bogues. So Muggsy Bogues was one of the shortest, if not the shortest player to ever play in the NBA. It's 5'3". Pretty short, but he was, he was a pretty good player. Jeff Hornacek, again, and we're running things out with Bimbo Coles. And we got our last pack for today. Again, if you if you so desire, hit that subscribe button, hit the share button, let everyone know, thumbs up, thumbs down, uh, if you feel necessary. And if you do that, go down in the comments down below. And um, also check out all my links down below for my blog, my uh, podcast, uh, Instagram, Twitter. I also have a Facebook page now too, which I don't know if I have the links down there. Um, it should be. It should be. Um, all right, last pack for today. Come back again soon when we do the rest of these uh, packs. We got Jamal Mashburn. Ah, oh, hate that sound. Ugh, gross. Uh, Terry Porter. Checklist. Kevin Willis. We got John Stockton, obviously a Hall of Famer. Followed up by Patrick Ewing, another Hall of Famer. Anthony Hardaway, I don't think he made that Hall of Fame, but he was a pretty big star back in those days. Ron Cycli, uh Eldon Campbell. Then we got Eric Murdoch, Sam Bowie, Walt Williams. And rounding things up for today is another Danny Ainge, but this one is different. Why is it different? It looks different. Some other version of Danny Ainge card. Uh, I don't know. So yeah, there we go. Uh, thank you for watching. Come back soon for round two of 1994-95 uh, Stadium Club uh, basketball. And we're going to keep doing some basketball every few weeks. And come back for baseball, hockey, football, wildcard Saturdays, my Mondays, whatever else I decide to post. And hit that subscribe and like and share and all that fun stuff. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.